Hey, what's up everyone? Brian here. It's Friday night and I'm partying like crazy in the break room in the Mount Crest Butte Town Hall for the Parks and Rec Division. That's right, man. Your boy knows how to get down. <laughs> anyway, tonight's video is about my new power station that I just got from Jackery. Uh, this power station is lightweight. The whole thing weighs under 20 pounds. So you got 13 pounds here with the battery. 5.5 pounds with the flexible solar panel, which is 100 watt. And so this is an out of the box review. I've, I've, I've just now uh, unpackaged everything and I'm gonna start using it. The one thing that I, that I immediately noticed about the battery, other than it being super lightweight, is the fact that all the corners are curved and rounded. And so that's really, really beneficial when you're truck camping. I've had uh, different items that have real hard sides and real hard corners to them and you always end up banging that on stuff and so the last thing you want to do is bang your battery around and possibly you know damage it so that was the first thing that, that I really noticed about this battery uh, like I said other than it being lightweight um, the panel itself I was shocked at how lightweight this is 5.5 pounds is nothing and you know if you compare that to like a, a leading competitor that has a 100 watt panel that 100 watt panel weighs 25 or 30 pounds I think now granted, that panel I believe is waterproof, this one is not. And so that's a little bit of a setback for some individuals that may be in rainy climates. Uh, out here in Colorado, it's sunny all the time and it doesn't rain very much. And so when it does rain, it's during monsoon season and I'm not gonna be having the panel out when it's all cloudy. So I'll just keep an eye on it and if that's, you know, that's not gonna be an issue um, for me. It might be for some people, but it doesn't bother me at all. I'm more concerned about the weight and also just how compact everything is. Uh, if you guys recall from the video I did announcing that I was doing the 30 videos a day, I'll be I'll be redoing my back seat because I took all the seats out and everything, and it's just bare bones, just metal on, on the back, so I've got everything just laying in there at the moment. But once I build that platform, what I want to do is I want to have an area in the back. Now, if you can envision, you know, here's my truck, driver's side, passenger side, here's the back, the back seats of it. So if you open up the doors like this, on the back side where the where the end of the cab is that goes up against the, the truck bed, uh, that back side there, I'm gonna actually build a wall out that comes just a little bit and have a little bit of storage. And one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm gonna create a slot for this to slide into. So it can easily slide in. It's got these handles at the top, so it's real easy to pull out. But I can slide it in and it'll be nice and compact and out of the way. And that's what I want for the, the panel because I drive so much. Um, you know, obviously you can charge with the panel. I mean, that's pretty much a no brainer, but I drive so much that I could charge. There, there's a couple of different ways to charge this. So like I said, you got the panel, but with the car charger, you know, I was using this, uh, yes, or, or, or today, um, when I was coming into work, just when I was getting this charged up, so you want to charge this before you use it. So make sure to charge it up. But I was charging this up and I think the draw was like six watts for my Dometic fridge. And I was pumping in 45 watts from the cigarette lighter. Um, I did notice that with the panel, I tested it out for a second a day. I was able to get up to 70 watts of, of power that was, that was getting piped in there. And then if you want to get the best charge at the least amount of time, you know, you want to do it the fastest, then just use the wall plug. I mean, this thing, it charges up real fast. So I think it's uh, 85 or 90 watts that's coming in with the wall charger. So that's that's my first impression of this. I, I'm very impressed with the lightweight nature of the of the design, and then also the the rounded corners, and then just how small this is. I didn't I, I didn't know the size of this. I when I was talking with Jackery, you know, they were they were like, "Well, we got the solar panel," and I, was, I said, "Well, it's cool. Um, you know, I'd like to take a look at it." And they sent it, and I was expecting something much larger and much more rigid. This is pretty flexible, and it can it can flex up to 30% before you would cause damage to the solar panel. Now, I wouldn't recommend going out and saying, like, hey, let's get to 29 to 30 and just see if we can get it right to the limit. But that just lets you know that it gives you some wiggle room if the, if the uh, solar panel is in a, a compromised position. So... Anyway, that's my out-of-the-box review. I'm going to start using this immediately because I'm getting it all charged up tonight. So tomorrow it's going to be used out in the field. And what I'll do is I'll come back and circle back next week and do a video about the performance of the battery itself out in the field. So um, thanks for tuning in and hope you all have a good start to your weekend.